Hello class 8. Today we are going to begin a new chapter, chapter 4, operators. So we have different types of operators in Java. The first one, now let us first discuss what is the definition of operators. Operators are a special symbol which perform a specific operation on values per line. Once again, what are the operators? These are a special symbol which performs a specific operation on values per line. Example, a plus sign, minus sign. These are the operators. These are arithmetic operators or mathematical operators. Like the plus sign is used for the addition and the minus sign is used for the subtraction. Alright. So we have different types of operators in Java. Arithmetical or mathematical operators, relational operators, and logical operators. These are the three main types of operators, which are arithmetical or mathematical operators, relational operators, and logical operators. Second comes operands. What are the operands? The values on which the operators were are known as operands. The values on which the values on which the operators what are known as operands. Let's see a plus b. See this example. This example a plus b. Here a and b these are the operands. This a and b are the operands and this plus sign is the operator. So this operator is working on a plus b and a and b. So these are the two operands. Okay. So just now we have learned two terms. What are the operators and what are the operands? The first one is called mathematical operators. What is called first one? The first one is called mathematical operator or arithmetical operator. Mathematical or arithmetical operator. So what are the mathematical or arithmetical operator? These operators are used to perform arithmetic calculation on values given. Okay. So what is the use of mathematical or arithmetical operator? Mathematical or arithmetical operators are used to give the used to perform arithmetical calculation, mathematical calculation. We have the five arithmetical operators or mathematical operators in Java, which are plus, minus, asterisk, slash, and this percent sign is called modulus operator. This percent sign is called modulus operator. So this plus sign is used for the addition, this minus sign is used for the subtraction, this asterisk sign is used for the multiplication, slash is used for the division and this percent sign is used for the, to find the remainder. Now find the remainder means this percent sign, like if I write 9 modulus 5, if I write 9 modulus 5. So, 9 is divided by 5. How many times? Once. So 9 minus 5 comes what? 4. So this will so this 9 modulus 5 will give what value? Will give the 4. Will give the what? 4. So see there's difference. This divides the number and this divides and finds the remainder. And this person sign is called and is called modulus operator. And it is used to find the remainder. Right? Suppose if I write 10 modulus 2. 10 modulus 2. If you divide 10 by 2, remainder comes nothing is what? 0. Alright. So, today we have finished mathematical or arithmetical operator. So, to today's class, what we have learned? We have started chapter 4 operators. What are the operators? Operators are a special symbol which perform a specific operation on values provided like plus, minus, greater than, less than. Then, what are the operands? The values on which the operators work are known as operands, like A plus B. Here A and B are operand and plus is the operator. Then, the first one is called mathematical or arithmetical operator. These operators are used to perform only arithmetic calculus, nothing else. Like plus used for addition, minus used for subtraction, asterisk used for multiplication, and slash is for division and this percent sign is called modulus operator and is used for the finding the remainder. Okay. 
सो नेक्स्ट वीडियो में रेसर ऑपरेटर्स थैंक यू फॉर